In this video, you will learn everything that you need to know about WordPress tools like what is tools in WordPress and how to use tools in WordPress. Hello everyone, welcome to WordPress Boffin. This is your host Mizan and I am here with another brand new episode from my WordPress management series named WordPress for Absolute Beginner. If you haven't watched the previous video of this series, please, please look at the iCard or in the description below. Okay let's get started what is tools in wordpress tools is a menu tab in the wordpress admin sidebar it contains tools to perform some non-routine management tasks wordpress tools section contains scripts that are needed only on extraordinary occasions that's why those scripts don't come pre-installed with wordpress but only listed so you can find them more easily when necessary but also keep in mind that some wordpress plugins pushes some uh, settings and option pages to wordpress tools menu and you can have those tools also under uh, the tools menu uh, that are pushed by any wordpress plugins okay what tools are available in wordpress to start using available tools what we have to do we have to go to our uh, we have to go to our uh, wordpress dashboard from there if we click on tools then we'll see that there is a menu name available tools so right now we have a uh, category and text converter available but uh, this is not the tool or uh, the tools that we're looking for to use the tools we have to click on import and these are the available free tools that comes with wordpress and uh, let's say that you have a blogger uh, blog and you want to bring the post and settings from blogger then you can click on the uh, blogger install now and categories and text converter to convert text to categories and categories to text selectively live journal is another platform uh, mobile type and type by another platform and we can also import rss feed based post from third party rss and tumblr post and the most important is wordpress can import wordpress posts like uh, post page comments custom fields categories etc so the most commonly used tools is wordpress and i'm right now going to install it it's actually known as wordpress importer after installing the wordpress importer then you will see that there is an option named run importer so if i click on run importer then it will try to import and i have to select a uh, xml file written in wxr format that is known as wordpress extended rss format so if i choose an import then it will import let's say that you want to export all of your wordpress uh, post and other options then what you can do you can click on export and all content means all contents and post means post pages mean pages landing pages my templates media these are the separate custom post type uh, that you can export and uh, import to any other wordpress website so uh, these are the most commonly used tools and uh, site health export personal data it is personal data these are the new options site health means that if uh, the wordpress website needs any sort of improvement and security breaches that are uh, scanned by wordpress then you can see on here and um, this is a cool uh, new feature by wordpress itself and export exp sorry <laughs> export personal data means if i want to export this user's personal data then i can uh, click on that and export it and i can also you know give the username then if i uh, send request then that that particular user have to you know uh, give consent that this export is necessary then the export will be uh, available here and we can easily download and if we want to erase any personal data that are available on this website and we can also do that so in this way uh, wordpress are now are following gdpr and uh, ccp uh, you know compliance 
these are the available tools and some plugins pushes options in tools also uh, like non-routine task let's say that you have a plugin uh, let's say that better search and replace and uh, you want uh, to use that occasionally um, then that can push uh, without creating a separate setting page or maybe a separate menu option that can push that uh, options inside these tools hopefully you got an idea so in a nutshell what i can say wordpress helps us to bring a uh, third party uh, third party uh, websites content through these tools and uh, by clicking on import we can import separate sort of uh, like uh, websites content like blogger tumblr rss wordpress then once we have uh, you know installed the required uh, import plugin then we can run that uh, to import any wordpress post uh, then uh, pages and comments we have to run uh, wordpress importer so if we click on that then we can bring the uh, uh, all the post and contents and export means if we want to export all of our uh, wordpress content uh, then we can export it and later uh, import that to any other third party websites um, so that that become one click uh, post and content importer hopefully you got an idea what is wordpress tools i hope uh, you can use it now and uh, we'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye